Hey everyone, welcome to Dallas Vintage Toys, owner Sean Ninus. Yesterday we, well, let's back up. Over the weekend we got a call saying that a client was going to bring in some stuff from another shop and they showed up first thing uh, Wednesday morning and here's a handful of items that we got in. We got a lot more graded stuff in. <laughs> pretty cool this is a uh, star wars number 68 uh, cgc 9.8 um, blue label this is the first appearance of boba fett so nice white pages and uh like i said first appearance of boba fett then next to that we have a loose vinyl cape jawa archival case this is a afa 85 it's been a few months since we had one in i know a lot of people have been asking about them so this is on the website right now. Then it's been about the same amount of time since we had a, this is a 12 back A AFA 80 carded vinyl cape Jawa unpunched, no price tags. So this is uh, another great piece if you're looking to add a grail piece to your collection. So Sean, as I'm your apprentice and I'm learning my Star Wars stuff, why do these ones have a vinyl cape when the other ones had a cloth cape? Was there, what was the meaning behind that? Yeah, so some of the other figures like, uh, you know, Ben Kenobi and Darth Vader, they had a vinyl cape, so they were just keeping it all vinyl. And uh, when they first came out, they just looked a little bit smaller. So uh, they weren't selling that well, and then they pulled them. Uh, some of them ended up at movie theaters, and they would hand them out to children. And uh, That's the kind of toy I wanted at a movie theater. Yeah, so uh, in North Park 1 and 2, we actually had a client that worked there back during Star Wars. And uh, this was maybe 10 or 12 years ago, and he brought in a carded vinyl cape Jawa. And then we paid him for it, and then he told us a story that, you know, people didn't really want this. They wanted the other main characters. And then uh, he came back two weeks later. He had another one. And then I was like, okay, well, here's the same amount of money. I was like, how many more of these do you have? And he said... Just one more. Then he came back like a month later, he brought another one in. And then he had a death squad commander where the corner of it was torn out. I was like, what's the story behind this? And he's like, oh, I wrote a girl's phone number down on it. I was like, well, I hope she was worth it. So but that's the story about the vinyl cape Jawa. So they got the cloth cape, bulked them up a little bit. So he looked a little bit bigger inside they the bubble. They got smuggle all that so, stuff I mean, under their jacket. So I mean, when it's three quarter inch scale and then they're also a lot smaller, I mean, I know one of that the first times sense. of me working here at the store, you got three of them in when, when they came in. It was probably one of the first times I ever saw a vinyl cape Jawa was at this store. And now you can come in and see a loose and carded wall supplies last. This uh, Leia right here, this is an AFA 80, a 20 back A. This one is already sold. So when you see us do posts on social media, just give us a call and we can just hold it for you. And uh, we also do a 60-day layaway, too, with 25% down. Absolutely. We do tell you to message us on Facebook or Instagram, which is a great way to get a hold of us. But we don't get a chance to check all of our messages all the time because we're helping customers in the store. So if you need that item bad enough, it's better to just pick up that phone, call 214-827-7060, and just give us a call and say, hey, I need that toy now, and we can help you out over the phone. As Dan said, we can start a layaway over the phone there. And this is a 12-back uh, Death Squad Commander with a 90 grade. So, I mean, for 85s and 90s to come to the store, they really don't come in too often anymore because they have tied up how they grade. So, Sean, you're saying gradings on this. What what does it take all to get something graded? Like, what, what, did, what would that all entail as far as if I wanted something graded? Is it is it something I should do? Is it something I should hold off on? Is it what's what's the purpose of grading? I guess it's to protect your investment. I mean, if you are going to, um, I guess it would be better to have them in a case. Now you don't need to pay for grading. You can also get acrylic and put them in there. They also have soft uh, plastic uh, star cases. So those are about like two to four dollars a case. These are ungraded. Cost about. Um, anywhere from like 20 to $26 a case. To get them graded, it could be like 40 to $85, depending on the faster turnaround. So difference from these cases compared to regular ones, when you get them graded, they're sealed, right? You can't take the figure out compared to a regular plastic case you'd buy yourself. You can take your figure in and out and trade and put whatever you want in Correct. the case that way. Or okay. you can get a hammer and a screwdriver and 
really go and, at it. Uh, have a prayer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but also, it's uh, verified. There's a serial number and everything. Or if you've been doing this long enough, you can just kind of eyeball it. And that's why a lot of people bring stuff in here. They're like, hey, can you tell me what this mic grade or what this looks like? Or all, is this authentic? And all the time we get that. And we can give you our best guess. But when it comes down to it, we still send them off. And they might even come back. But we give our, we've been around this business a long time. We see all this stuff. We have a good idea about what gradings are going to be. So we get an idea, but for the most part, we just recommend cases or sometimes it's a nice grading because uh, like Sean said, this 90, almost impossible to find them at a 90. That's going to be a real nice, uh, real kinda, nice find dollar. That's kind of like the uh, CGC equivalent of a 9.8. And uh, let's see, we have a Luke Skywalker. I'm always a sucker for Luke, especially in a, uh, let's see, what is that? That is, uh, yeah, AFA 85. So that's, you know, just the iconic figure. Came in the early bird set. Here we have a uh, Ben Kenobi that is a straight 85 12 back. Then we have a Stormtrooper straight 85 with a 90 subgrade as well. Then uh, we have uh, C3PO. The subgrade for the card is a 90, and that is an AFA 85. It's been a little bit since we had a Boba Fett because we had someone buy up all of our Boba Fetts. But this is a pretty neat Canadian one. This is a 21 back. Uh, Canada one, and then it's got the uh, you know the foreign language or French Canadian on the back right there. It says Star Wars, hey. Mm -hmm. Then it also says it on the Starburst right there. And then we also got in tons of loose figures from this collection. All of them are 85, 90, 95. So those are currently on the website. And um, I guess comment in the comments below what you uh, what 12 backs or first 21 figures you have in your collection. Which one of these do you like the most? Um, so yeah, guys, like you said, on Sean said, these are going to be listed on our website at dallasvintagetoys.com. Anytime Sean lists new things, just go ahead and click the go on the search before putting anything in, and it will show you the newest stuff he's just got listed. Him and Dana uplist stuff, upload, uplist, new stuff all day. That's usually what they're in the back doing all day long. So when you're saying, where's Sean, where's Dana? It's because they're uploading, getting that new stuff available for you guys on DallasVintageToys.com, but if you want to keep up with any events or any other special guests that we may have coming on, be sure to check us out at Facebook and Instagram as well. And Dana, what any other words or news you got for us? Bring your toys in that are clean. You need a microphone. <laughs> I'm cleaning cl cases. I'm reorganizing the floor. I'm trying to make it shoppable for you. So if you have any tips, tricks, or ideas, let me know. Thank you. So with that, Sean, uh, awesome collection we got going on. Is there anything else we want to say to the people before we get off on YouTube land? Yes. Ooh, TV! We hope to see you all soon. Thanks so much for watching. We love what we do. We all collect here, and we hope to see you all soon.